comfort, relaxation, and sleep. Comfortable and relaxed, so it will be easier to sleep. Our breathing is slower and deeper when we sleep. The body's temperature is lower. Even the heart beats more slowly. The whole body is resting. Dreams are normal too. Often they're suggested by things around us while we sleep. She does a lot of daydreaming, imagining herself as the extrovert that she is not. Dreams don't seem to make much sense, do they? Deep, sweet dreams. Satan is relentless. Sing me to sleep. The whole world lieth in wickedness. Deep, sweet Literally, in the hands of the wicked one. He, that is the God of this world, has blinded the minds of the masses. Story time that featured men dressed as women, also known as drag queens, reading books to children. We are grooming the new generation of Americans to be fully embracing of diversity and inclusivity. Make sure you're prayed up. Make sure you're right with God. The seventh annual Witches of Delray Beach bike ride. Witches and wizards will be taking over the streets of Chestnut Hill once again today. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Witches from across the valley will come together for a good cause. Robinson would dress as a witch named Nelda and hang the little girl by her armpits, torture her, and not feed her. So logically, what is the result of decades of movie and television programming depicting followers of Christ as backwards, hypocritical bigots while simultaneously promoting witchcraft and sorcery as liberating and cool? Witchcraft and Satanism are on the rise in the United States. The second way in which our new glorious America is going to look, well, liberals are finding witchcraft. Witchcraft and Satanism is a fascinating new trend the decline of Christianity, eradicating religion from public life. It doesn't just go away. You don't magically replace society with this, um, this atheist utopia of you know, pure rationalities and science. What you actually do is you create a hole in people's imaginations, in people's souls. Many of the objects on show here were used relatively recently, up until a few years ago. But witchcraft in Britain has had a huge explosion, so there's far more witches now than there ever were before. The church in Henry County defiled with satanic messages. Naima Abdullahi spent the day with a pastor who said the effort at intimidation will not work. Just days before the grand opening of the Seed Planners Church in McDonough, the pastor says this is a setback and he wonders who would ever write those hateful messages inside the church. Just yesterday, Long says he opened up the church and found someone broke through a back door that was kicked in and drew all these satanic symbols and obscene language all over the walls, flipped the chairs and put toilet paper around the sanctuary. A report in the Christian Post contends that the number of witches and Wiccans has dramatically increased since the 1990s, to a degree that there may be at least 1.5 million witches in the United States. This is a cursing poppet. Uh, it's made of wax. It contains the hair and the blood of the intended victim. Fingers dancing across a board of piano keys echo through the single room church house. Members fill the wooden pews. But this church is not the church it's always been. A few weeks ago, members arrived to this, spray paint, vandals attempting to take the church's joy. But this is not a church of retaliation nor a church of vengeance. So this is a, a fortune telling teacup. You give the cup of tea to the person asking questions or who's fortune. The man who is facing charges in connection with the beating death of his mother told police he was possessed by demons. Which is turned over and then Florida says that it was demons that made her do it. Your fortune is foretold depending on where they land within the cup. A 54-year-old woman and a 14-year-old relative are suspects. They're accused of vandalizing a church and allegedly targeting churchgoers' homes and cars, too. 
Brady. Well, Brian and Sue, it's an odd case because police only know the pair targeted the church for its beliefs. It all happened Halloween night. Michigan State Police Lieutenant Christian Clute says for some reason this woman, 54-year-old Anna Morris, spray-painted buildings, signs, and church vans at the Church of Carson City and Fish Creek School. Some rather vulgar uh, sayings have been spray-painted on the church. I know that the, the comments that were made were anti-religious comments and some derogatory comments um, about Jesus and God. This is a, a witch mirror. Magical practitioners use them for scrying, the form of divination. You put yourself into a kind of light trance. A close friend says Stice complained of voices in his head, suffered from seizures, and had a temper. That question will form in the glass. But there is a warning attached to it. You must never turn around to see what's in the mirror. Joshua Granger was also in court today, and the prosecution says he would wear a demon mask during the abuse. Marvel Comics has announced plans for its first ever drag queen superhero. In the latest issue of Iceman comic book series, Marvel introduces a super, new superhero named Shade. Shade is a mutant superhero drag queen who possesses teleportation powers. This comes after Netflix debuted an LGBTQ-themed superhero show last summer with cross-dressers cross -dressers rather called Super Drags. Career day turned controversial after a middle school in Thornton brought in a drag queen to talk to kids about bullying. Some parents not too happy about it. The district tells us they are accepting of others and how they choose to dress and live. From the makeup to the eyelashes and those extra large earrings. Oh, what do you have that wig behind you? A transformation occurs, turning Zach into Jessica. And I like how it's made me a better person. It's made me a happier person. She's been performing for the past five years. For the past year and a half, drag has been a full-time job, a career that landed her an invite to talk to students at Rocky Top Middle School in Thornton. Giggles from students at Rocky Top Middle School echoed through the halls of the building last Friday as a drag queen made her way through. Video posted online shows the reactions of 6th through 8th graders. A relative of a student, drag queen Jessica Lahore, volunteered to speak. I knew that it was going to be controversial because that was something I would never expect to be allowed like when I was growing up in middle school. Um, and at the same time, I took it as an opportunity because I got to talk to a bunch of kids and kind of open up a new door for conversation. Presented, District spokesperson uh, Joe really Ferdani. The, the school's focus is to have an event that is representative of the diverse backgrounds and careers within their community. Every cl uh, class had one person ask me about how to handle with negativity, bullying. A police officer, an architect, and a drag queen. A broad range of jobs on career day, but parents say one of them has no business inside a school. I was pretty appalled. I was pretty surprised. Um, it, it was a it was a shock because we, nobody was notified. This is Miss Jessica, a gay man. The guests talked about their job and its connection to literacy. This person is an adult entertainer and is talking to 12 year old students. What you sow, you will reap. This applies not only to the individual, but nationally. At a place where keeping quiet is the rule of thumb, it was anything but outside the Greenville County Public Library in Five Forks. But on this Sunday, story time featured drag queens reading books to children. There's always going to be a negative response. People get very comfortable, and anything that challenges their comfort is seen as uh, pushing an agenda or oppression. Drag Queen Story Hour was first announced last month. Soon petitions started and protests were planned by groups across the upstate who say the idea is morally wrong. Beginning God created them male and female and this is uh, confusing to the children. Many drag queen groups that I've read about are actually admitting to grooming young children uh, towards certain lifestyles. Others believe it's teaching tolerance. We are grooming the new generation of Americans to be fully embracing of diversity and inclusivity and 
realize that everyone has dignity even if you don't agree with them. This group with the Greenville Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, a group started in San Francisco, say that they're here to protect the drag queens from bigotry. People tried so hard to get it to shut down and get it not to happen. Now I'm going to make it want to happen even more than what I was before. Riley is one of the queens invited to read to children inside. I would hope that they would just accept it. I mean, it's going to happen um, regardless of what they do. Look at your M closely. There's a gap right here in the letter M. It's never connected. So you go into Hebrew. The letter Vav is also the number six. Short top, long tail. Short top, long tail. You could have here in Hebrew 666 on the can. But my interest is the word monster. What do you see in the O? There's a cross. Okay. What has Christ got to do with an energy drink, let alone the name Monster? So I thought, well, maybe this is a Christian company then. BFC at the bottom of the can. Do you know what that stands for? That's the F word. Big can. In fact, they write it on the side of the can, so I know that's the F word. Okay. Now, do you know what a MILF is? Yes. That's on the box. <laughs> MILFs dig it, and you will too. This is not a Christian company at all. So why would they have put a cross on the can? Here is the message. Antichrist. 666 in Hebrew. And then the Bible talks about the beast in Revelation. And look at Monsters ad. This is their statement. You see these M's everywhere. Hats, t-shirts, bumper stickers. Is there another agenda here? If God can use people and product, so can Satan. And look at it this way. Even if the M was not the issue, you cannot deny that that is a cross. And what is witchcraft? When the cross goes upside down. Bottoms up. And the devil laughs. Something to think about. Wow. This is how clever Satan is and how he gets into the Christian home and a Christian's life and it breaks God's heart. Jesus said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Wow. That's awesome. I've never even seen traditional church worship. All of them are in search of something else, a spiritual belief that connects them to their ancestors and where they can feel more empowered to control their own well-being. They have found it in ancient forms of spiritual contact. Some call it witchcraft, a term they accept and embrace. This too is an ancient art of worshiping, not to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but to spirits and deities. Are you in fact witches? Um, whatever the situation calls for. They have many names and titles and ranks within their belief system. They are college educated professional women who've chosen to believe that theirs is a truer example of worship that is inclusive of the genders. It connects them, they say, to their ancestors and fills a need not found in traditional worship, though most of them grew up in the church. I was raised Christian, all Christians in my family. Um, in fact, my grandfather was a preacher in the South. I also grew up Christian. I grew up Anglican in the Episcopal Church. The older I got, the more disconnect I felt. I was raised Baptist. My father is a deacon. My mom a deaconess. I was in church all the time. These women are part of a sect, Ile Ola Afefe Osa Meiji, spiritual temple. They worship and offer prayers to Ashun, a predominant deity. She's the deity or the Arisha of um, aesthetics, beauty, sex, sensuality. They are growing numbers of African American women who have chosen for themselves a new life, leaving the church in search of more meaning in their lives. And yes, it can be called witchcraft. At a recent convention in Baltimore, more than 200 witches gathered, a sisterhood. But their spells are for good, not for evil. In this ritual, the women are preparing an offering to Ashun on behalf of a woman in California who's looking for a mate. The omelet type dish is sweetened with honey, believed to be a favorite of Ashun. Prayers are said over the offering and for the woman in need. A portion is offered to Eshu, the male counterpart of Oshun, and placed in a secret place beneath the stairs of this Odenden home. Using shells, they ask the spirit if she is pleased. Four shells are tossed to the floor, two land up, two land down. Balance, 
the gift is accepted. She accepts it. The traditions may seem odd to most, a mystery to some, complex and multi-layered. These daughters of the moon, followers of Ashun, women, powerful, determined, and understanding, say there is nothing to fear. They are here, and they will be here for the foreseeable future. Yes, there are witches among us. Now, I mean, everyone seems to have a very strong opinion about Satanism, even though nobody knows anything about it. The good news is people have a response to the title Hail Satan. My name is Penny Lane, and I'm the director of Hail Satan, which is premiering at the 2019 Sundance Film Festival in the U.S. Documentary Competition. Hail Satan is about the Satanic Temple. I like stories where the hook is apparent, but you also realize throughout the course of the story that you were wrong about what the hook was. Even people that are not particularly religious, like myself, uh, we still think we know what Satanism is or what a Satanist is. And it turns out that most of those ideas are completely mythological. Um, they're coming out of the 1980s and 90s from the Satanic Panic. I thought it was really interesting that there were so many misconceptions from the get-go about what this, what modern Satanism actually is and means to the people who call themselves Satanists. Most people don't go past the first layer of like, ha ha, isn't this funny, kind of like a trolly, jokey thing. And in fact, what they're doing is really serious and they take it really seriously. He's practice, she's practicing witchcraft, and Tom Brady is allowing it to happen in his home. Sir, uh, has anybody ever <laughs> uh, asked whether you're absolutely insane? Oh, <laughs> you mentioned directly that there are deep spiritual ramifications. Oh, I want an for answer Brady. to that question. Okay, go ahead. I Mike. want this man to defend are, his are you insane. Insane. Do you understand that you sound like an absolute crazy person right now, Mr. Wilde? No, I, I sound like a born again Christian who loves Jesus Christ with all my heart. You have to understand the seriousness of witchcraft. The witches will be assigned to the lake of fire. When they die, they're going to spend eternity in the lake of fire with murderers, adulterers, liars. Witches are mentioned right there with with murderers and adulterers and liars. Right. Okay? It is an eternal damnation in the lake of fire. You don't play games with witchcraft. Father Time has no idea where Tom Brady lives. None. And it is the magic number six. Mike Ford, the greatest athlete in history that American team sports has six championships. Touchdown, Patriots, as they tie Super Bowl. Brady was the GOAT. Well, the luck he's playing the history of the Super Bowl. <laughs> Ring number six. So that's six Super Bowls with six game-winning drives. Who can do that? Only in Hollywood could you make that up. Six rings equals GOAT. Mike Jordan, the number six is a big deal. If he gets his hands on all six stones. And Gronkowski has it. Was he across the pylon? Yes, he was. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Any, any superstitions going into the game? Any special thing you carried into the game on Sunday? 
that you had ducked away somewhere? Uh, I did. <laughs> I always sung. You know, I've learned a lot from my wife over the years. She's so about the power of intention, you know, and believing things that are really going to happen. And she always makes a little altar for me at the game. The cliff people. The what people? There's four letters. The, the cliff. Letter, the the cliff. cliff. I've heard people say he's going to fall off a cliff five years ago. Okay, in two more years he's going to fall off a cliff. Stop looking at the birth certificate all the time. He's the oldest to do pretty much everything that he's done this year. 17 years ago, we were the largest underdogs in the history of the Super Bowl. She, she just wills it so much. And uh, so she put together a little altar for me that I could bring with pictures of my kids. And I have these little special stones and healing stones and protection stones. And she has me wear a necklace and take these drops she makes. And I say all these mantras. And I stopped it, questioning her a long works. time ago. I did. I just shut up and listened. And at first I was like, this is kind of crazy. And then about four years ago, we were playing the Seahawks and she said, you better listen to me, this is your year, but this is all the things you're gonna have to do to win. And I did all those things and by God, you know, it worked, it was pretty good. <laughs> and then in 2015, it was about early January and she said, you know how much I love you? And I said, yeah, and she said, I just wanna let you know this is not gonna be your year. Oh. And of course we lost. I said, what does 16 look like? <laughs> and she said, 16's gonna be your year. <laughs> So it was early January this year, and I said, babe, I asking, like, do we have a chance? And she said, yeah, but you're gonna have to do a lot of work and you're really gonna have to listen to me. <laughs> so, man, I listened to her. And right so, after the game, she said, see, I did a lot of work. You do your work, I do mine. <laughs> she said, you're lucky you married a witch. I'm just a good witch. <laughs> So you believe in witches. You believe there are witches in our presence, both good and bad, uh, in, that are living with us right now. Is that fair to say? Yes, there are witches, but they're all bad. There's no such thing as a good witch. Uh, what, so you, what, 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 what leads you to think, Rick, that Giselle, Brady's wife, is a witch? Well, she, well, Tom Brady said she's a witch. You can see the smile on his face talking about his relationship with his wife and the impact. You took that yeah. to mean that she is somehow uh, talking to demonic figures and is a witch? Everything that Mr. Brady described his wife doing is paganism, it is witchcraft. What he described was witchcraft, and he said, my wife is a witch. He said, his wife said, You're, you married a witch, you married a good witch. Yeah. So it's you she, you think it's she witchcraft. meant that, you think she meant that seriously like she had, so she actually has power over his football career he's winning Super Bowls because of his wife but he he himself is attributing his success to witchcraft there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that useth divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. I love you, and I want you to know that God loves you. It's time to repent. That you're to teach your children, that you're to love your children, nurture your children, and he will be faithful and just. And I want you to know that God can change your life. And he can heal the wounds of your soul. He can break your addictions. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God. The salvation of the Lord can reach you at any moment. Death can reach you at any moment. Nobody knows when they're going to die. There is nothing more spiritual you can do than pray. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. Train your children up in the way that they should go, and when they are old, they will not depart from it. And your old men shall dream dreams, and on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. If you don't have Christ, then you're dead. You're dead. So allow God to live in you. Time is running out.
so that you can live. Today is the day for salvation. There's only one who knows the essence of God, and that's the Son. And He's the only one that can take you to the Father. God can raise the dead. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. God did not create us for us to satisfy our own flesh through lust and passions and desires. God created us to give glory to Amen, bro. Him because He is holy. Preach, man. And He said, be ye holy even as He is holy. We are not to live however we want, to be tossed to and fro by every desire of life. Repent ye therefore. Thank you, Lord. I'm telling you what's coming next. Repent ye. Destruction is coming next. And be converted. Can these dry bones live? He that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Be converted yes. that your sins yes. may be blotted out. <laughs> the wages of sin is dead. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my